You know, all tennis players need three basic pillars or foundations for their success. Number one, consistency. The more balls you can hit back, the more chances you're giving your opponent to make an error. Number two, physical fitness. If you're physically fit, you know you can go the distance, it's going to help your confidence tremendously. And number three, mental toughness. Mental toughness can many times offset the other two areas. You may not be as consistent as the other player or as physically fit, but if you're mentally tough, you can many times still win the match. But how many players go out there and practice their mental toughness? It's rare, very rare, that players actually practice it. You know, you'll see players hitting forehands and backhand serves, or they're in the gym working out, working on their physical fitness, but they're not working on their mental toughness. And this is a huge area that can really help you take your game up a notch. As an example, let's say you're in a match and you're at the net, you get an easy ball to volley to put it away and you miss it, you dump it in the net. Now, if you get upset and discouraged and let that bother you, it's going to snowball into more errors. Because when we're upset and discouraged, what happens is we start to get anxious and we start trying to do too much with the ball. We want to hit winners. We want to um, hit spectacular shots to end the points. And we're going for too much. Our errors even increase and it all snowballs. Instead of just playing percentage, consistent, high percentage, winning tennis, being consistent, not go, go, you know, you can go for your shots when you get the right opportunity. But, you know, when you get upset and discouraged, what happens is you're going for these shots when it's not the right opportunity. So, the refocus technique can really help you in this area. When you make a mistake or in between points, I want you to say this phrase. Okay, you ready? Quote, the next shot is more important than the last mistake. Okay, say that again. The next shot is more important than the last mistake. That's going to get your mind focused on that next shot, that next point, because you don't want your emotions controlling your mind. You want your mind controlling your emotions. So that's going to help you do that. So say this phrase over and over. Practice it just like you'd practice forehands and backhands and serves and working out in the gym. Practice it the same way and you're going to see a tremendous difference. Okay. All the best. Take care.